All right, what's up guys, the James DTV here. I don't really film videos like this. Then again, I don't really know what I film. Yeah, um, you guys are seeing this, right? This is my laptop running Windows XP. Literally, hold on, um, log off. This is real Windows XP. I'm, I didn't install, I did not install it on my laptop. I actually used VirtualBox to do this. I don't have a way of creating a boot drive, although I am actually thinking about literally doing it because Windows XP just gives me memories of my childhood at my grandparents' house. God damn it, I probably have to retype in my password. But now, literally at my grandparents' house, my grandma and my grandpa had a Windows XP machine. It was a Dell PC. It was one of the older ones. It was a black one. It had a black Dell CRT monitor pretty sure it was a Dell wire, uh, wired keyboard with the PS2 connector. No, not PS2 as in PlayStation 2. It was the type of connector. It was called PS2. Um, and then uh, Dell mouse, I'm pretty sure. I think the mouse and keyboard were not Dell. I have a Dell monitor over there, which has an Apple keyboard in front of it and an Apple Mighty Mouse. But I don't actually use my monitor since um, it's broken. Hold on, let me put in my password. Virtual box is kind of laggy, so you know this is um this is a virtual machine. I will show you guys. You see um machine. I'm actually in virtual box on Linux Mint. Funny thing is Windows XP doesn't require that much RAM, so I was kind of covered there because I only have two gigs of RAM in this, and literally the le the like the mac the minimum amount was five twelve megabytes. I think I was like okay. I can give it a gig and it won't be an issue. After you log on, you can add or change accounts. Just go to the control panel and click user accounts. Yeah, Windows XP. I did want to do a video on the install process, but um, it was taking forever, so. Yeah, we're just gonna go into guest. Yeah. Now you could tell it was real because it said the James D T V. Oh wow. So yeah, and then um, we're gonna do the turn off computer. And um, oh, this is my favorite thing about XP. The fact that like when you go to the, the shutdown thing, it will make everything black and white. I also learned from the 8-bit guy how to make any black and white photo. Like if you use a black and white camera, you can make any photo into a color. Yeah, yeah, this is virtual box on the EVU laptop. I can actually install XP in the laptop itself. Which honestly I think I think the oldest I will go for is Vista or 7. Probably 7. I don't think I really want Vista. But yeah, Windows XP. Wow. I just can't believe I'm actually doing it. Like I'm using I'm reviving my childhood. Even though I know like I think Vista was out when I was born. But, um, no, at my grandparents' house, they had this. And then my mom had a PC just like the one my grandparents had. It had XP on it, and I would play with, like, one of those old CD-ROM games. Oh, come on, please. Let me type in. Okay, now the password field doesn't want to work. Yeah, then we got donkey and guest. I just created random profiles. But yeah, that was my old profile picture from my mom's PC. I just named it the James DTV. Just so you guys would know that it's not fake, because someone's gonna comment like, James, it's just a screen recording, it's fake, and it, no. Literally, I am moving my finger on the trackpad. How do I do it? Um, yeah, um, no, this is 100% real. Oh, God dang it. Okay, we're just gonna wait for it to load, but yeah, no, Windows XP. It's VirtualBox, VirtualBox, sometimes it's kinda slow. I have booted Pair OS Catalina in VirtualBox. It's honestly not that bad. I've also, I think, booted Windows, oh, I did try installing Windows 10, but I did um, run into issues there, so. Um. And Cortana would not shut up. So I've only installed like three different, I've only used three different softwares in VirtualBox. 
Oh man, if this ever wants to freaking load, I can actually show you guys some stuff, but um Yeah. I may have to restart virtual box, I'm not sure, but yeah, um Honestly this is like what the heck? I I I'm gonna try this. Oh, it does the same thing on the lock screen too. I didn't even know that one. Okay, I already knew the whole thing like with when you're on the desktop, I didn't know we did that on did that on the sign in screen too. Okay, if the password field doesn't want to work, we'll just get in on here. Now for some reason my USB drives don't want to read in VirtualBox, so I cannot install my pal, which is a browser the only browser that's supported on here. I don't have any connections to the internet right now through my laptop, but um welcome to the new connection wizard cancel. I wanted to go into um Internet Explorer but it doesn't work. I already tested it. Yeah, if you go in here, um games. They actually have games on here. They have pinball, which I don't know how to move the little things on the bottom. No, our, this is basically now a EPC. If you guys have seen Dank Pods, you know what that that is. It's those little, still those newest Windows XP machines. Okay, we're just gonna try this. If it wants to, is my keyboard dead? Like, is my keyboard not wanting to work? Input keyboard keyboard settings cuz now my 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 stinking keyboard doesn't want to work either um auto capture keyboard turn that on and off okay there we go there we go so i may be able to log into my profile and not donkey so let's log off does it do it? Oh, yep, it does it when you do the log off. Literally, I so much, I miss Windows XP. This is why I'm doing this. Like, literally, just because I miss XP. I mean, there, this is literally just remind, this is almost exactly like how I used to use XP. No internet, so I could not do anything internet related i couldn't even watch youtube i don't even think i knew what youtube was honestly i didn't even know about youtube god dang it i don't care about the virus protection it's a virtual machine plus it's not connected to the internet so nothing's gonna happen oh yeah pinball shows up right there hmm. you see it's the james d tv this is all being run on linux mint hold on um view turn off full screen mode Okay, my iPhone just gave me a pop up said iPhone not activated. You see? It's a virtual machine. It's in Oracle VM Virtual Box. See, I'm on Linux Mint. I'm literally using Virtual Box to do this. I wanted to do this in Virtual Box because um Okay, switch. Because I have actually like I I tried creating a boot drive already, it didn't work. By the way, you guys, um Another memory of XP. Oh, here's Nino. But at the school I went to when I well when I went to Brewster Elementary School when I lived in Brewster, the in my second grade classroom we had a um Windows XP PC. They had one of these kinds of monitors just like this one. And now I own one of these monitors. So I'm thinking if I can actually get a USB to VGA adapter, hook it up to this, get my um I'll have to use my Logitech and mouse and my um and my Dell USB keyboard. I can bring back the vibe because I didn't use an Apple USB keyboard or a Mighty Mouse. Hi Nino. Do you like Windows XP little cat? Come on, Nino. Say hi. Say hi. Okay. Her tail's moving, so she's alive. Watch. You see you see it moves. So don't comment that Nino's dead because she's not. Nino's just trying to sleep. Alright, so yeah, Windows XP. But anyway, I think this is the same kind of shape as my monitor, so this would work. Uh, start menu. Tour Windows XP. I'm actually going to try this. Welcome to the Windows XP tour. Play the anime. Yeah, okay. We're actually going to do this. 
I want to do this because like, you know, by the way, I didn't even edit this video on a computer because I literally don't want to. Plus, I don't have access to Adobe Premiere anymore since I'm no longer at the tech center. So it's literally probably just uploaded straight from my iPhone. Welcome to Windows XP from Microsoft. I don't know if this is actually, um, I don't know if this is copyrighted. Screw it, I'm not monetized. Windows XP Professional shines as a business operating system. Get more work done faster, easier, anytime, anywhere. I'm doing this for you guys. Safe and easy personal computing. Thanks to Windows XP, personal computing just got a whole lot easier. I'm only and more 15 fun. and somehow I used XP. Unlock the world of digital media. And now the volume is XP is your team Thanks, to Linux. exciting digital media at home and on the internet. I wonder what happens if you plug an Xbox One controller into this thing. The connected home and office. Get connected. Windows XP makes it easy to share and link computers. See for yourself how easy Windows XP is to use. Take this brief tour. To begin the tour, click any selection. Hmm. With Windows XP, you get the proven dependability of Microsoft Windows 2000, enhanced for high-speed performance and even greater reliability. Alright, I think I, I'm not going to make this video too long. It's already past 10 minutes. I'm not monetized, so I don't get ads anyway. But screw it, yeah, I just want to show you guys that. Honestly, I just can't believe that I have literally... Okay, let's see if I can add new. Shortcut. We're going to do the C drive. So you guys know how they have the Macintosh HD. We're just literally putting Windows HD for a Windows hard drive. So um, move that up there. I'm actually thinking if I do install Windows XP on this machine, I'm actually going to um, I'm actually going to make it to where um, I'm gonna make it to where I can get Win OS 10 on here. If you guys haven't seen Michael MJD. MJD's video I may link that down in the description for you guys to see that one that one was pretty cool because it's a transformation pack that takes your Windows XP machine and makes it look like a Mac with a couple of like custom re, re -mod like modified applications some new ones and it, it's got the dock and everything it's not 100% because your taskbar is still the taskbar but it's up at the top and it'll still show like your open windows down there it's like that's the annoying part, and then also the Apple icon, instead of the little Apple menu, it's a start menu. But yeah, anyway, I think that's about it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe, and don't do it for me. Do it for Nino. She's sleeping, I know, but Nino? Nino? Yeah, she moved her tail up as she responded. Yeah, do it for Nino, but anyway, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please just like and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video peace